So I was about to film a nail video. As you can see right here, I had everything set up. My husband's like, let's go do your hair. It's been a while. So it's greasy. It's really nasty looking. I'm like a once a week wash girl. I have not done my roots since July last year, July, 2020. I'm the laziest hairdresser you will ever meet, but I keep my hair healthy that way. So the only thing I really do is like tone it with different fun colors. I am fixing to section my hair for my husband. He ran to go get some gloves because we took them home to try to like waterproof our gloves for the kids to play in. Um, so we were gonna stick my gloves underneath their gloves. Sorry, there's like poop on the outside of my window, but this is what's going on outside. Crazy for Texas, like it is coming down. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, so they don't freeze over. He's so smart. So I am going to be bleaching my roots with Schwarzkopf Blonde Me. Um, I love this bleach. It's by far one of the better ones I've tried. It gives me the best lift possible. Um, you do have to be careful with it because it can cause some damage. It's pretty strong, so keep that in mind. But to get the blonde I want, I have to use a strong bleach. And I'm going to use that with 20 volume. A little view of my shop. Um, I think I'm going to go with the lavender this time. I hope I can get this lifted um, within one round, but my roots are a five and a half level six. So I'm just gonna quickly show you the bleaching process because it's nothing fancy. Um, and then after we get it all rinsed out, we'll come back and I will show you what I'm layering on my hair to get that really pretty uh, lavender tone. So I'm gonna. Um, you're gonna paint. So can we paint the front roots right now? Or white. Take no, you can. You can. Well, if you want to start at the back, that's fine. But just leave out the hairline because this will lift super quick. So just do like you know, a couple of centimeters away from the root, like you always do. And I'm gonna still go back again and get that last little bit of section of the roots. Yeah. Okay. If not, then those will lift out like really crazy fast. white because of the heat from my scalp. Yeah. Helps lift it. And then I'll have like a bright ass like white line going down my hairline. Yeah. Easier to slap it all on, but this is technically the correct way. it on the front. <laughs> that is what we didn't want to happen. Uh, okay, I'm really good at this. <laughs> no, no, go ahead and paint it so it's like this. Yeah, just even at least, <laughs> just around that area where you got the bleach, and then we'll paint it all after you get done with this section. So I accidentally got a little bit right there where the foil moved, but that's okay. Because I'll front. be able to fix it because I'm awesome. <laughs> my front is my fragile area, so that's why we always start in the back. And I'm not going to paint around my hairline just yet. Again, we're going to go back and hit all the roots that are right against my scalp after he finishes sectioning. Over everything. Mm -hmm. All the way to the root. Mm -hmm. Flip it over. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Watch this. <laughs> I'm really good at this. <laughs> You're the worst client to work for, too. I would I'm, fire you. I'm picky. I would fire you. <laughs> fire Donald Trump. That's how. That's how you get it the way I like it is because I'm picky. That's why I don't go to another hairdresser because I wouldn't sit here and instruct her the way I instruct you. Hey. Yes, I do. I got my Fanola. I always have Fanola on hand. That is oh, my yeah. secret weapon to blonde. Don't tell people that's stupid. I don't care. I have my own clients. 
That's why I'm putting this out on YouTube. If you tell people your process, then other people do it, and you're not as good. That's not how it works nowadays. It's like, it's like the secret sauce off of them. Um, but I promote everything that I do. What's it called? The secret sauce off a good burger. <laughs> Vanilla is the secret sauce. Vanilla is the secret sauce, people. I'll put you in a grinder. <laughs> Pretty much my roots are done. It didn't take long to process. I always like to set under the dryer. Some people argue that, thinking that's gonna like fry off hair, but my theory has always been the less time the bleach is on the hair, the less damage. Again, I've been doing hair for like mm, 14, 15 years, so it's always worked out for me, but again, some people might do it differently, which is totally okay. I got some vanilla. I got it in stock, so I always pre-tone with Fanola. I'm gonna pre-tone with the No Yellow. The blue is good for people who, you know, want just like that really pretty platinum blonde. This is more for the people who want that ice, that silver, um, and that's what I'm going for. So we're gonna pre-tone with Fanola before we put on the actual toner. So I need to come over here. And then if I do the Icy Lilac, um, the lavender, I'm gonna use Arctic Fox. I really love Arctic Fox. I recommend this to all my clients when doing fun colors at, uh, at home. It's non-damaging, no developer required. It's semi-permanent. All right, now we're gonna rinse. Ooh, my face is so red. Look at this. See it, can you see it? Oh, that's good. It's not like crazy. Mm -hmm yellow nope. so the yeah, tone <laughs> and this is why we leave roots out you see how white it is just think if i wouldn't have left that out at first and he would have painted straight on the roots those would have been solid white and then a huge difference from here to there what's up guy tame <laughs> now um get the finola no yellow yeah the purple, yeah, that one. It's been used a little bit. Yes. Lots of it? Yeah, basically. <gasps> My hands are purple. Yeah. All right, stop, 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 don't waste it. Want. Yeah, and then just make sure and get it all around. Get underneath my hair too. <laughs> and that's gonna make a crazy difference. This is gonna right suck here. into my dry skin. Yeah, that's why I always walk around with like purple cuticles. Oh, thank you so much right here. for telling me. You're gonna turn my eyebrows purple. How do you get shampoo <laughs> that far on someone's head? You see how much hair I get to work with every day to <laughs> wash my hair? That's how. I use the same body wash all over my head from my butt to my toes. Now rinse it and- Son of a bitch. <laughs> I look like Violet off of Oompa Oompa Land. <laughs> look at my face, so hush. Ooh. Now tell me if you see a difference from just using the Panola. Yeah, your hair's purple. Oh my gosh, your hands. Yes. Yeah. Violet, you're turning violet. So we just got back home. I'm gonna do the um, toning, the lilac color right here in my bathroom. So this is gonna be basically just like an at-home tutorial for you guys. So here's my hair. It's all freshly bleached. This is the part I would recommend going to a professional for because this is what can fry your hair if you don't know what you're doing, which most people who are hairstylists really don't have a whole lot of knowledge with bleaching. It's a nice, clean, even canvas, not super yellow, which is what we want. Go in with Arctic Fox. Um, I have several other videos using this stuff right here best stuff to use at home that I have found so far. Um, I would like to test out some more products, but I love Arctic Fox. Sorry if you can hear my family in the background. I need a bowl. Um, you can use a brush, but most of the time um, I use my hands, especially when trying just to get it on the ends. This helps to like separate the pieces, but really, or maybe like painting into the scalp, but Doing this, it's so much easier to work with your hands. You'll see me do it in just a minute. Then you need some conditioner. Now, I prefer white conditioner because I make a concoction of the color that I 
am going for. I don't want it to be too purple or too light. So when you use white conditioner, you can just add in as much as you need of this. And then I will show you in just a second. I recommend using some gloves just in case your hands are dry. Like you seen my husband's while ago when he was using the purple shampoo, it won't hurt to get this on your skin, but it will grab if you have dry areas, dry cuticles, so, you know, get you some gloves just in case. Also, I prefer to do this on kind of like damp hair. Um, when your hair is super, when your hair is dry, it sucks in the product and it's like you, you just keep adding and adding and mixing and mixing and it just disperses more evenly and you can work it in the hair when it's more damp to wet. It's not gonna affect the outcome of the color at all, so don't worry about it, but definitely try it on damp hair if you've done this before on dry and it's, it's been splotchy. I find you get the most even results this way. I'm going to mix this up really good. See what color it looks like on this white paper, just because that's gonna give me the truest tone of what it's gonna put in my hair. If I need to darken it, I will add more color. If I need to lighten it, if it's too dark purple, then I will add more conditioner. Now you basically want to keep stirring until you see no more white in there. Sometimes people don't mix it up enough and then that's when they get splotchy results in their hair. Like some pieces are more purple than others. Now let's go ahead and swatch and see what this is giving us. It honestly, right now when I'm looking at it, it looks a little too light. I know pastels fade like crazy every time um, you wash them, they're gonna fade. I typically wash my hair like once a week but see on that white paper towel, that's barely purple. That's more, um, I guess it's kind of like a silvery purple, which is still really pretty. I want mine to last a little bit longer than like just two washes. So I may intensify that a little bit more. So adding a little bit more, you totally see that that's a completely different color. It's almost a little blue. So I may actually add some more conditioner now. There was our first swatch. Oh yeah, there's our second swatch. Eh, that might be okay. Don't just blob it on there. Like don't just take some and do like, oh my gosh, you need to like shear it out because obviously it's not gonna be that intense on your hair, but you can just play around with it and see how sheer you want to make the color. Just in my experience, I know it fades like crazy. This is a little too blue for me. And so there is that with just a little bit more conditioner added. Yeah, my purple tone came back a little bit more. So, as you can see right there, first mix up, second, and third. Also, buy the big bottles, you guys, um, especially if you're going for a pastel tone that um, you're using the whole bottle, which I almost did. You don't want to run out because then if you get half of this on your hair and you run out of color and you still have like the other half left, you're gonna be screwed because you're not gonna be able to match that. So buy you enough color. This stuff is very affordable. morning I wanted to go ahead and put on some makeup when you get a new hair color you feel better when you have makeup on to get the idea of how you're gonna look like when you're all made up color turned out so pretty look how shiny it is again it's a little bit more um, intense right here at the roots where we bleached it but one wash and that intensity will fade a little bit and it'll be more kind of like the rest of the hair but it's just because we just bleached it. So if you're doing this process, just heads up, it will always be brighter and grab more where there's fresh bleach applied versus, you know, like my mids and ends, but it really flows nicely. It's very iridescent, it's very minimal, pastel, not bright and bold and like violet. I didn't do much, I just blue dry it. I don't think I'm gonna do anything because I have nowhere to go. That's one thing that people need to realize when they're doing pastel tones. 
is the more heat you apply, flat irons, hot showers, anything, it's gonna fade this color like crazy. So just keep that in mind. I wash my hair once a week, that's it especially with pastel tones. Um, if it gets a little on the oily side, then dry shampoo, baby powder, especially if you have like lighter roots, baby powder works great. I only need to refresh my color with the Arctic Fox probably like once every two weeks if I want to maintain this. Now, this is gonna be so pretty once it fades. It's gonna fade into like a icy white silvery shade. And again, I would definitely recommend doing the bleaching process with a professional because you don't want fried hair. And you can do this at home. You can get Arctic Fox at Amazon, Sally's, Hot Topic, I do believe. And I think they're even carrying it at Ulta right now. I think the best price I've ever found it in is either Sally's or on Amazon. But I will link down below in the description box where you can find the products. I'm not gonna list the professional products just because, you know, I feel like you need to go to a professional to do that, so. So I hope you guys enjoyed this hair tutorial with my husband and I hope you learned something from it. Let me know if you decide to try Arctic Fox. They have so many different colors. Um, follow me on Instagram and let me know if you're trying this or if you need help or if you have any questions. I don't mind answering questions at all since my comments are deactivated on here. Just go over to my Instagram and ask away. I hope you all have a wonderful day, a great week, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. So I really quick wanted to show you guys what it looks like after a couple of washes. This is the icy pretty white blonde I'm talking about. Now I am setting underneath all my lights. I am filming a new video right now. That's what I'm talking about. But just to give you an idea of what it looks like when it fades, I wanted to include a little video clip of the color. I'm still loving this color. I'm about to refresh it. It's been about two and a half weeks. So Again, if you're interested in any more hair color tutorials, check out the bottom description box. I will link them all down below. They're all over my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.